Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. In this video, I'll show you an example of how to calculate the resultant potential. So we have an equilateral triangle of uh, size 2.0 mm. We have two charges at A and C, and we want to calculate the resultant potential at B. Let's start with charge C, so it's a positive charge. And a positive charge will raise the electric potential around it to be higher than zero volt. So you can imagine that charge C uh, changes the electric landscape around it such that there's an electric mountain centered at C. Points B is 2.0 mm away from C. So using the formula V is equal to KQ over R, we can calculate the potential at B due to charge C to be 9000 volts. Let's move on to charge A, which is a negative charge. So because it's a negative charge, it's going to uh, lower the electric potential around it to be even lower than zero volt. Again, you can imagine that charge A changes the electric landscape around it, such that there's an electric crater centered about A. Similarly, using the formula KQ over R, we can calculate the electric potential at B due to charge A to be negative 4,500 volts. So why is the resultant potential at B? Is it simply the electric high ground of 9,000 volts due to charge C plus the electric low ground of negative 4,500 volts uh, created by charge A? Yes, it is. It's that simple because electric potentials are scalar quantities. So electric potentials can only be positive or negative. It cannot be like leftward, rightward, upward, downward, eastward, westward, whatever word. It is either positive or negative. That's why uh, when using the formula KQ over R is very useful to include the sign of the charge. See, I include the sign of the charge. So the outcome of the calculation will describe fully the electric potential. And I just need to sum up the numbers to give me the resultant potential. So that's all. Ta-ta!